Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports for a bit of a look at uh, the Springbok squad. We did a couple of videos. First of all, obviously, we did the squad announcement itself. And then there's a squad update with Vilko Lowe and Johan Kabbalah being added to the squad. And we did also a video about the five unlucky players, which ironically then one of them was picked up in Vilko Lowe. And so today I thought I would look not so much at the lucky players to be going, but um, players that potentially this could be one of the last times that they go on an outgoing tour. And it's very interesting if you look at the age analysis of uh, the current squad and some of the players we've used. And you look at the players who kind of been filtered out. Uh, it all kind of sort of lines up. And uh, basically what I've done is I've looked at um, ages of players now, for example, as well as the age they'll be at the Rugby World Cup in 2027 to sort of red flag a couple of players who might be sort of on the radar in terms of being moved on uh, with regards to their age at the moment. Before we do that, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Right, worth noting that um, Dion Free and uh, and uh, uh, Dwayne Fabian, for example, played in a World Cup final and were absolutely superb at the ages of 37 years old. Um, I think... Uh, Nobody's going to deny that their performance was anything less than anybody else in the field. So we've already seen proof that, for example, 37 is a playable age, that you can play at that age. I think because Carl Gritz is even older at the 2019 World Cup, although playing in a more mentorship role. So I do think we need to be very careful as soon as players get to 31, 32, and we are kind of like, oh, well, we need to move on from them, they're old. And that's kind of been the reaction to a lot of the players that have been selected with regards to, oh, we need to bring in more players, we need to, you know, uh, blood more players, for example. You know, these players are too old. So I actually went and did a bit of an age analysis. And uh, some of the players who are getting moved on, it's quite interesting. If you look at the moment, um, the oldest member of the squad in the for the end of year tour is Villeroux. He is 35 years old. He'll be 38 come the 1st of September 2027 when the next World Cup will start. And we kind of know that this is a bit of a swan song sort of tour for him. Um, he's same age as Trevor Nikani, for example, who's kind of already been moved on. But then we sort of dive a bit deeper and who else are sort of on the radar. So next in line from that sort of from an age perspective is Vincent Koch, Kubis Ranach and Makazolo Mapimpi. All currently 34 years old will all be 37 come the next World Cup, which means that they are on the brink. You know, that's probably about as old as you want anybody in the squad to be, ideally, probably moving into the next World Cup. And uh, the reason I mentioned that as well is because if you look one more down, it's Frank Francois Herber, Bongi Ibanambi, Sia Khaleesi, Franco Mostert. And one position in particular should stand out for you there, and that is tight head prop. Vincent Koch, currently 34 years old. Francois Herber, 33 years old. They'll be 37 and 36, um, respectively, come the next World Cup, which is why it's so important that a Thomas de Toy and Vilko Lowe, who are both, well, I think uh, Vilko Lowe just turned 30, Thomas de Toy, 29 years old, are getting opportunities because they will be 33 and 32 at the next World Cup, which is a really, really good age. Um, of course, Ronald's an interesting one. He'll be 37 at the next World Cup, and we've got a lot of uh, scrum halves coming in at, uh, at, at sort of much younger ages. I mean, you've got, for example, Grant Williams, Carry 28, he'll be 31 in the next World Cup. If Herschel Yankee's still on the on the radar, he'll be 31 in the next World Cup. But if you look at, for example, Jaden Henderson, he's 27 years old. Mornay Vandenberg will be will be well, sorry, will be 27 years old at the next World Cup. Mornay Vandenberg will be 29 years old at the next World Cup. So uh Faf de Klerk, for example, will be 35 at the next World Cup. He's two years younger than uh, Kobus Reinach. And not to say Kobus Reinach is slowing down. I don't think you'll ever use Kobus Reinach and slow in the same sentence. But those are three players, for example, that already have kind of been highlighted. I think Mapimpi as well, somebody probably will move on, be moved on with the likes of Kane Moody coming in. He's the youngest member of the squad. Um, he will be just 25 years old at the next Rugby World Cup. And, uh, you know, we've got Kirk Lawrence, who will be 31 in the next World Cup. Chesson Colby, who is getting, starting to get on in years, for example, he'll be uh, 33 at the next World Cup. You've got Evan Amur, for example. So... Those sort of players, I think, are quite easy to, to replace. Bongi Yonami is an interesting one. He'll be 36 at the next World Cup. Malcolm Marks, uh, a little bit further behind him. He'll be 33, so no issues there whatsoever about Malcolm Marks. But Jahan Pablo getting an opportunity is, uh, is is important, I think. He'll be 29 at the next World Cup. Jan Hendrik Best will be 26 at the next World Cup. So, you know, you've got options there as well. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think Joseph Dweber is about a year younger than Malcolm Marks. Uh, I've got him here somewhere. 
He's just not popping up. Yeah, there he is. He'll be 31 at the next World Cup. <coughs> He's currently 29. So there's hook options you, you've got there. So Bongi Minami, I don't think he's going to get moved out anytime soon. But you can just see already we're starting to look at other options there. See Kalisi, Franco Moss, for example, also both sort of 36 the next World Cup. Ruin Nokia, very much a Franco Moss type player, is starting to come in. Marco Van Staden has always been sort of the understate to Sia Kalisi. And uh, he'll be just 32 at the next World Cup. And this is where we talk about having really good depth, is the fact that the players who we can see immediately from an age analysis point of view, who's potentially aging out, you can already see that there are replacements being lined up. And that's why I highlight the tight head as such an important position for this tour and for the next couple of years, because it's a position where our top two players are in the sort of higher brackets age-wise. And that's why it's important to bring in a couple of younger players to start getting game time. I think Asnat and Klavikani will probably join the mix, maybe Nedling for sure as well. So uh, I think this is going to be Ben LaRue's last uh, end of year tour. Maybe this could also be the last time for a Vincent Cock, a Kurvis Ryan, a Marcus a Pimpy. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. Please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.